Nityanandam, my name is Lin. I'm currently in Bangalore, India, in my guru Paramahamsa Nityananda's breathing space. Paramahamsa Nityananda is a living avatar, the reincarnation of Shiva. Um, uh, just now I had an interview with uh, Nityananda uh, teacher training uh, participant. Uh, we talked about uh, the three forms of yoga that uh, my guru Swamiji offers to the uh, the world. Uh, so one is floor yoga, the other two, one is uh, Kundalini Raju, the other is Shiva Stamba. So um, I'm actually now in the in the Shiva, Sam Shiva Stamba and Kundalini Raju Hall for the Mahasada Shivoham participants. So I'm in the training hall. I'll guide you and have a look at the hall. And also the equipment that we use for doing this kind of two yogas. So now in the background you see the pool. That is Shiva Stamba pool yoga. So here is the participants, where the participants would be doing Shiva Stamba yoga. And uh, here, this picture actually showed the time when, uh, actually when I was also there uh, when it happened. Uh, it was last year during uh, September IA in Awakening, uh, we broke the Guinness record for the largest Shiva Samba uh, class in the world. That was a very fun uh, experience. So. Uh, Nityananda Yoga, what is the special thing about it? Um, yoga has a religion, it is Hinduism. Hinduism is the oldest religion in, on planet Earth that was brought by Avatar for 60,000 years ago. Avatar is the most awakened being consciously um, in the cosmos. So for 60,000 years ago, actually my current guru, Paramahamsa Nityananda, was in the body of Adi Yogi. He landed for the first time on planet Earth to give the science of enlightenment to humanity. That is Hinduism. And yoga itself is part of this lifestyle. So everything we do in Hinduism has a spiritual uh, reason. The purpose for everything we do is enlightenment, that is a liberation, that is when uh, we die, the soul will not uh, go on and taking new bodies on planet Earth, but we will exist in another form and go further. That is liberation itself. So, uh, <laughs> Shiva Stamba Yoga, the Pu Yoga, when we do all yogas in Nityananda, uh, sangha, uh, there is a spiritual context. So all the yoga forms that are available nowadays in um, in a uh, society, the source is actually Nityananda Yoga that is um, available, uh, re being revived nowadays by my guru uh, Swamiji. So every time we do yoga, we actually chant for every asana, every pose, every practice, we chant the original script. The reason is that the purpose for yoga is not only to uh, release the stress or having a peaceful inner space, which is a side effect. Yoga is actually the way to awaken Kundalini uh, energy in human bodies, by uh, uh, through which our uh, being will have the a connection with the cosmos, cosmic intelligence, the cosmic source, the source that has created this whole universe, the real uh, source uh, that is really us. We are actually, every person of us, we have not only a body, not only a mind, we are also the soul. The soul itself is the same material as the cosmos, cosmic intelligence. The intelligence that created the whole cosmos and maintained the whole cosmos, run the whole cosmos. So by doing yoga, it is the exercise to awaken that part, the soul of us, and make us, by awaken Kundalini Shakti, the energy we understand who we really are. The, we have the direct connection with the cosmic intelligence. So Kundalini, uh, mm, 
she was done by yoga. When I did this, I, um, well, the, the purpose for this is to awaken the masculine side of uh, us. Every human being there, we have uh, both the feminine side and the masculine side. So we are not only uh, the gender, uh, the, the physical gender itself, we are the mix, we are the infusion of both female and male energies. So by doing Shiva Stangbai Yoga, the male part of us will be awakened. I have actually an interesting story to share. When I did a scanning for uh, 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 Sang Yasi, uh, who, uh, who's female, uh, he, he's a male, male body, but his um, female energy was very strong. So when I did the body scanning, I actually saw him standing on the pool. So I told him to do pool yoga, uh, Shiva Stamba yoga more. And he uh, admitted that he, he, uh, he, he has this resistance. He felt like this is uh, uh, very challenging for him. So that was why the third eye revealed that he has to practice this to awaken his masculine energy. Okay, now I'm moving to the next hall. Uh, where Kundalini Radio Yoga is allocated. This is the hall for Kundalini Radio uh, Yoga. So this is uh, for the current Mahasada Shivoham participants to practice. Um, we can see it's a rope hanging from the top. So there are different exercises, asanas, that we can do uh, with the rope itself. So the specialty for this rope actually is very interesting. Uh, only by doing this yourself, you will understand what I'm talking about. This Kundalini Radio uh, Yoga is actually to awaken the female side of us. So for me, <laughs> I have a... Uh, um, I would say like the masculine side of my body is very much awakened. The, the masculine side of human body is the, the right side and the feminine side is the left side. So when I was trying to do a Kundalini Radio Yoga with my right side, I always got stuck. Like I, <laughs> the, the, the movement was not fluent and I was, uh, I had a muscle, I was strong, but somehow the, um, I, I didn't really enjoy the, the movement because I was always trying to put my body, push my body into the rope and, you know, trying to, to get uh, to that um, position uh, in the rope. Somehow, um, when I started to do the rope yoga, the Kundalini Raju Yoga with my left side of body, a miracle happened. I just felt oneness with the rope, like whatever I did was so easy, effortless, and uh, so natural, so tender, so soft. So um, without having a, a, without the need to push, to uh, engage the muscle strings, the performance itself um, was achieved so, uh, so much more easily and natural. So uh, by that, the real experience I felt what this yoga is really meant for. This is to awaken the feminine side of our body. So for all the participants and for everybody, we practice both of the yogas to balance our system, to awaken both the male side and the female side of our being. So now here you see a very nice picture of one asana um, that is available uh, in Kundalini Radio. It's a very, very fine asana. And this exercise is actually very uh, good to release the, the stress in the spine. So um, this is a glimpse of uh, Kundalini Radio and Shiva Stamba Yoga. And um, Nityananda Sangha is the only organization that has uh, two uh, uh, Guinness record uh, in this two uh, yogas. So um, Swamiji is doing his best to revive this ancient history, this ancient tradition, uh, making 
all the yoga practices available for hu humanity. Uh, it is time for humanity to have a conscious breakthrough. Um, if you are interested in knowing more, uh, you are welcome to attend Nitya te uh, Yoga Teacher Training Program, which is a 21 um, days program where you get go through all the asanas, the practices uh, of both the floor yoga, the Shiva Stamba yoga, and the Kundalini yoga. Above that, you will get a, 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 a full uh, spiritual context behind the yoga itself. You will be given all the 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 scriptures to chant uh, in Sanskrit. And also your third eye will be awakened by uh, the guru, by our guru, the avatar, Paramahamsa Nityananda. So this program is the only program available on planet Earth to give you hum humani humanity the real introduction to yoga, which is a spiritual practice for enlightenment. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Nityanandam.